hey what's going on youtube <laughs> hey uh, i'm back uh, again now guess what i need some help from you people out there some people that you diy guys or your carpenters or the people out there that are you know hard workers that are putting this world together with their blood tears and sweat look here it, you know up there i don't know if it's possible to get it but you see those cracks in the side of this house this guy he wants us to fix them okay and somebody done went in there and put the screws in the siding to try to secure it and i can understand why they did that is because there is no plywood back there they floated those edges so they're starting to raise up starting to raise up so i don't know what to do you know we're at the point now where we're pulling our hair out <coughs> We're going to go ahead and talk it up and uh, uh, leave it at that, you know, do the best we can. It's a rental house, so the guy don't want to spend a heck of a lot of money, but uh, I don't know. Y'all leave the comments below out there. Why are they floating the ends like that? Uh, this is probably a 18-inch centers out here, and there's probably maybe some foam board behind this stuff. Uh, we've tried to, uh, you know, pilot hole. Uh, I don't know what would be a good idea. Take some brad nailers like they do the trim around the base of the floor and do some X outs on the, on the loose ones that are floating, that are popping off. And it's hard to get, it's hard to get uh, screws because they've already covered them up. You know, you're, you're not supposed to have no screws, nails or nothing showing, but if it's already all complete and the top row is done, did its deal, there ain't no way to really uh, address the situation decently. So I just want your advice. What do you think? This is, this is, this is my buddy over here. <clears throat> he's teaching me a lot. He's he's uh teaching me how to be patient. <laughs> because I'm pulling my hair out here. We done been up and down this ladder a bunch of times. I think uh I think I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it just like the rest of them did. I mean I don't know. Uh, uh, liquid nails. Yeah, I'm gonna lose lose liquid nails, but that stuff's so messy, man. You can get all over everything, and it's uh it's not the right color you know it's a darker brown than that this is kind of like a beige cream color so uh, uh we got some beige cream color cock right here it costs a little bit more money but it's he's the guy just doesn't want to spend no money to paint the darn thing either he just doesn't want to paint it and uh you know it's a contractor under, under a contractor and I'm trying to do the stuff the right way. You know, the, the person that I'm under is the one that's talking to the customer. So, customer wants a cheap job. She says it's just a rental property. Get up there and just take care of it. Well, that's what we're trying to do is take care of it. But, key word, take care of it. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see y'all till next time. I know this is a short video, but I just thought maybe I could, because anytime I've ever asked y'all for some help, y'all have given me good advice. And what'd you, what would you do in this kind of situation? Anyway, leave the comments below. See you later, man. We ready to do it?